Hello and welcome to Searching the Scriptures, a daily podcast where Bible topics will be discussed and Bible questions will be given Bible answers. No opinion, just Bible. For this episode, our topic is going to be busybodies. God's children have always been taught to be energetic and zealous in whatever they do. In their physical lives, we read in Colossians 3, verses 22 to 24, Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. And whatsoever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord, and not unto men, knowing that, the, that of the Lord you shall receive the reward of the inheritance. You serve the Lord Christ. The same goes in our spiritual activity. In Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, we read, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. This entire chapter is talking about spiritual things. And so in our spiritual lives, we are to be energetic as well. Yet the children of God must learn to confine their zeal and their, uh, ener and their energy to lawful bounds. In 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 14 and 15, there we read, If you be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are you, for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Here, this verse tells us that we are not to suffer as a murderer. Many people understand that. Don't go out and murder. That we are not to suffer as a thief. Well, people understand that. Don't go stealing things that doesn't belong to you. We're not to suffer as an evildoer. Well, again, people understand, well, I'm not going to go out and do evil. But then we get to this fourth thing. Don't suffer as a busybody. A busybody is one who meddles in the affairs that are not their own. And that is a problem for a lot of people. We like to tell other people what to do. We like to put our nose where it doesn't belong, and this often gets us into trouble when we do that. The scriptures teach us that we are not to be a busybody. We are not just to go around telling other people what to do. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 11, For we hear that there are some which walk among you which are disorderly, working not at all, but are busybodies. Now them that are such we command and exhort by our Lord Jesus Christ that with quietness of work, uh, that, that with quietness they work and eat their own bread. We are not to meddle in other people's business. It's one thing if we are if, if they are publicly teaching something that is not the truth. That's public. That's going to turn other people away from Christ. But we are not just to go along looking for problems that we can solve in other people's lives. If they ask us for help, fine. But let's not just go and meddle. So what are some applications that we can learn from this? Well, first of all, we need to be aware that we do not meddle in God's affairs. Man loves to play God. We love to be able to say, well, thus says the Lord, and you have to do that forgetting that thus says the Lord, I have to do that. But if we're going to say thus says the Lord, we better have a verse that says what we are saying. If we do not have a verse that says what we are saying, it's not thus says the Lord, it's thus says me, and you have to do what I say. The Pharisees had a problem with that. When we act this way, we are being presumptuous. We are acting on our own authority. We are assuming something without getting it from God. That is wrong. Some people act presumptuously when it comes to how to save mankind. They say, well, baptism is not necessary for the remission of sins, even though the scriptures say that we are saved by baptism in 1 Peter 3, verse 21. Some people act presumptuously when it's how we organize the church. Instead of Christ being the head of the church, according to Ephesians 5, verse 23, we have man-made heads of the church. We have popes. We have... Uh, cardinals and, and uh, priests that the scriptures don't talk about. Scriptures talk about priests, but everyone's a priest who's a Christian, not just certain people. We have the work of the church being changed by men. We are acting presumptuously because we don't have verses that teach the doctrines that many people teach. We must be careful 
that we are not presumptuous and meddle in the things that God has arranged by His own will. Let's be careful in that, that we aren't busybodies when it comes to God. But in regards to other things, Christians need to be sure that they don't meddle in other people's business. Christ has given authority to the local church to be uh, overseen by elders. The qualifications are given in 1 Timothy chapter 3, and we cannot change them. Not all churches have elders, but churches that do not have elders are lacking. All churches should strive to have elders so that they can have overseers. The duties of an elder are outlined in 1 Peter 5, verses 1 to 5. They are to feed the church. They are to lead, guide, and rule the church. The ruling the church doesn't mean that they get to decide what truth is, but they are overseeing the church making sure that not only they, but the members, are following after God's uh, will and are under Christ as the head of the church. But those of us who are not elders are not to meddle in their work. We have no right to usurp their authority, and we have no right to be delegated their authority. Some elders delegate authority uh, in certain matters, and they are not to do that. Let's not meddle in their work. We also must not meddle in the spiritual lives of other Christians, telling them how much to give. Some people do that. Well, you're not giving enough. You earn a lot of money. You should give more. What right do we have to meddle in those affairs? We have no right. Giving is, is as is purposed in our hearts. We should not meddle in that. But even meddling in others' physical affairs is contrary to God's word. Some people like to meddle in other people's personal lives. The scriptures teach that we are to follow God's word in everything. Some people ask us, well, is this right? Well, let's go to scriptures. But if someone is just, if someone is doing something in the privacy of their own home and we do not do, know about it, let's not meddle in that. If it comes out as, public as uh, uh, publicly sinful, we need to talk privately with that person. But let's not just go seeking out problems. Let's not be meddling in other people's affairs. This is contrary to God's word. Whether it's our government, whether it's our boss, or whether it's anyone else. To advise is not wrong. But God knows we have enough just taking care of our own business without taking on everyone else's lives. Being a busybody will lead to strife. Let's avoid being a busybody. Well, perhaps you're listening and you're not a Christian. The brethren here in Toronto would love to study the Bible with you so that you could hear the Word of God, believe it, and obey it before it is everlastingly too late. If you'd like to set up a study, you can send us an email at Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. On behalf of the East End Church of Christ in Toronto, Canada, I'd like to thank you for listening to this episode. For free online Bible-based material or to get directions to our meeting place, you can visit our website at www.eastendchurch.org. While there, you'll also find links to more of our podcasts as well as links to the live broadcasts of our services. Should you have any questions about this or any of the other podcasts you may have listened to, you may leave a comment below or email us at Toronto East End Church of Christ at gmail.com. Please join me, the Lord willing, again in the next episode when we will be discussing another topic from God's Word. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.